Rape shield laws protect victims from having their sexual history aired out in court during rape trials. But these laws are relatively new in the history of American jurisprudence. State v. Sibley, decided in 1895, reflects the view that courts held prior to the enactment of rape shield laws. Lula Hawkins accused her stepfather, Sibley, of raping her multiple times when she was 12 and 13 years old. The state of Missouri charged Sibley with rape. At trial, Sibley testified and denied the accusations. To impeach Sibley's credibility as a witness, the prosecution presented character witnesses who testified that Sibley had a promiscuous reputation. Lula also testified, stating that Sibley impregnated her and made her take drugs that aborted the pregnancy. She claimed that on one occasion the drugs made her black out and run out into the street. To corroborate Lula's testimony, the prosecution then presented another witness who testified that while in the street, Lula stated, quote, Sibley done it. I told Sibley it would not do. I am crazy. What is the matter with me? Has the devil got me? Unquote. Sibley wasn't present when Lula made these statements. Sibley objected to the admissibility of both the character evidence and Lula's out-of-court statement. But the trial court overruled Sibley's objections, and the jury convicted him. He appealed to the Missouri Supreme Court.